This episode of Quite Frankly was made possible by our friends from MacFun. Great photo editing software for Mac. Go to our special MacFun community website for exclusive deals just for you guys. Hey guys and welcome to this new episode of Quite Frankly. Now a lot of people have asked me how do you integrate Capture One with Lightroom and Photoshop? And I understand that question of course because one of the most important things in a workflow is actually of course having a quick workflow and don't well you don't want to jump from application to application find images somewhere and you don't know where and that can be very confusing so in a workflow you have to have a very stable workflow and fast so why capture one well let me put it this way i absolutely love lightroom lightroom is amazing for storing your images uh, creating smart albums uh, printing going to photoshop and some small retouches of course and we love lightroom mobile however if you look at the quality of tethering and raw conversion capture one just takes the crown it's a very very good raw converter and with tethering is the most stable solution we ever encountered now how do you make those integrate because as i mentioned before all my images live in lightroom so i want my images to go from capture one actually to photoshop and then into lightroom without doing a lot of work because we hate to do a lot of work now, one of the things that you have to realize is Capture One, you can start up in two different modes, in session mode and in catalog mode. Now, catalog mode is similar to Lightroom. You can store your images, you can do um, well, whatever you want. You can do printing, you can uh, give it ratings, you can use color tags, uh, sorting and whatever. But again, I do that in Lightroom. So I don't have a catalog in Capture One. I use session mode. Now, session mode, you can still browse through all your images. For example, I can go to my photography 2016 and I can go, for example, to Nadine, uh, to one of the workshops we did in Doorward. And I can just select one of my images and start my retouch process on that. And not one of the best images, by the way. But that's later. Now, during the normal photo shoot, I will work in a capture folder. Now, this is the folder where a capture one stores all your images while tethering. Now in this folder, I can of course already, as you see here, select my images that I like to work on. I give them five stars. So this is from a workshop we recently did with Iris. And as you can see, I already selected my images. Now, how do I get those into a Photoshop? And that's very easy. If you go to the gear over here, this is actually where you have your process recipes. And as you can see now, I already selected the Frank to Photoshop. Now, the process recipe, you can actually write yourself and you only need to stay in basic. You select the format, in this case, of course, TIFF. You select your bits, in this case, 16. Of course, we want uncompressed, pro photo RGB. The resolution isn't that important, but if you want to put it on 300, that's okay. And the scale, of course, fixed. Now, this is where the kicker comes. You have to choose Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. This is how you open up Photoshop straight after processing. And of course, you have to store your file somewhere. Now, in my case, I use a folder called Bewerken Capture One, which actually means retouching Capture One. And it's located on my SSD external drive, retouching Capture One. And of course, you can do an output format naming, but in this case, we just choose your image name. The only thing I now have to do is press Command D, and it will open up Photoshop or Process. Now, as soon as I'm done in Photoshop, of course, the images are saved. So let's see how we now get them into Lightroom. So let's start up Lightroom. Here we go. And as you can see in Lightroom, I already opened up this folder, retouching Capture One. Now, the only thing I have to do is press the right mouse button and say synchronize folder. Now, it will show me that I have 42 new images. I do synchronize. And it will actually start adding those images. So I press import. Make sure that you do add and not move. So we do import. And now what you can actually see that in my retouching capture one, I have all my raw files, some from Nadine from the previous session. And in final, this is where I normally store the retouched images after I've done my work in Photoshop. I have these images of Nadine. So this is pretty cool because this is what I just did in Photoshop with my images. Now the only thing I have to do is find my folder in 2016 from Nadine 
and just drag these images. And of course now they're already in that folder and just drag them over to Nadine. And of course now I press cancel because they're already there. And so I created a workflow that works flawlessly from having your images in Capture One, doing your retouching in Photoshop, and then importing them via the sync option in Lightroom. And you can drag them to any directory you want and you have them straight in your catalog. So I hope this helped you guys out a little bit with Capture One integration into your workflow with Photoshop and Lightroom.